Environmental engineers solve some of the world's most challenging environmental problems. In this video, I'm going to share with you what kind of salaries environmental engineers can expect to earn in 2019. I'll also compare environmental engineering salaries with related fields, such as chemical engineering, civil engineering, and agricultural engineering. I'll also show you what kind of wage growth environmental engineers can expect over the next couple of years. Coming up. Hey everybody, Steve here, and this is Career Watch, where we cover the very latest career trends. If you end up enjoying this video, you can support us by subscribing. Environmental engineering is an extremely popular form of engineering. They're concerned with air quality, water quality, and a host of other environmental issues that plague our country. But without further ado, let's get into the salary statistics for environmental engineers. My first chart is showing you the history of environmental engineer pay over the past two decades. In the year 1999, environmental engineers were making on average about 57,000 per year. By the year 2018, environmental engineers were making about 92,000 per year. And then I calculated the wage growth and I projected that environmental engineers in 2019 should be making about 94,000 per year. Compare this to the average wage. In the year 1999, the average wage was about 30,000 per year. And by the year 2018, the average wage grew to about 53,000 per year. So there's about a $40,000 difference between the average environmental engineer pay and the average wage in this country. And when I look at this chart, I notice that it's kind of like a slow and steady growth. Other careers, they kind of saw a dip in pay around the Great Recession but environmental engineer pay has just kind of been slowly and steadily rising over two decades. And I think I know the answer why it's gonna be in one of my later charts, but it's, an, it's interesting. My next chart is showing you the wage growth of different engineering fields. And I calculated this using 20 years of data going from 1999 to 2018. I found that agricultural engineers are earning about, you know, 1100 more per year chemical about 2,500 more per year, civil 1,900, environmental 1,700, and the average is about 1,200. So for environmental engineers, they're doing better than the average. They're doing, they're earning more and more money every year over agricultural and the average wage. But on average, chemical and civil engineers are earning more per year. So this next chart kind of surprised me. I always assume that government pays a little bit less and private industry pays more but doesn't give you benefits. With government, you might get a pension, you might get more time off, you might get better health care, better, better dental care, and you might even be working less for, you might only be working 40 hours a week. Compare this to private industry, private industry has more of a reputation of you're working like 50 hours a week. So this was surprising to me because most other jobs, government pays a little bit less, but not for environmental engineers. The federal government pays environmental engineers on average 105,000 per year, and local government or county government, your local county, um, they on average pay environmental engineers about 87,000 per year. And compare that to private industry, engineering services, consulting services, they pay a lot less than federal and local government. But not state government, interestingly. State government pays less than everyone else. So if you're interested in environmental engineering and you want to be paid more, really try and get a federal government or a local government job. So in my previous charts, I brought up two points. I brought up the fact that government is paying more than private industry and that wage growth for environmental engineers is good, but it's not quite as good as civil and chemical engineering. So this next chart might provide a reason why this is occurring. So this is the population of environmental engineers over the past 20 years. In 1999, there were 51,000 environmental engineers. And by 2018, there were 53,000 environmental engineers. And this is a growth of less than 2,000 jobs in 20 years. And look at the volatility. There's constant periods of hiring and kind of firing, I suppose. And this kind of provide, might provide a clue as to why government pays more than private industry. When there's not a lot of job growth, uh, private industry, private companies take advantage of this they're less inclined to pay you more. They're gonna make you compete with another environmental engineer for the same job. There might be 10 people competing for one job. But the good news is there's a lot of, it seems to be a lot of government jobs and the federal government seems to be providing um, pretty good compensation. I mean, considering 
you're making six figures and you're getting a pension, good benefits, time off, etc. So going into environmental engineering, just know that it's competitive. It's going to be hard to get some of those government jobs because I'm assuming a lot of people want them. Are you interested in becoming an environmental engineer? Let me know in the comments below. Again, if you want to support this channel, you can support us by subscribing. Thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you guys next time.